hear it in the background. There's people just... No! Hi, Matt. Come on, lady, get out. And Max. Hey, Paul. How are you, man? Good to see you. Yeah. So we just got here to Fabrat's shop. We got Alan here with yanking ropes. We're going to be putting the rock sliders and doing some fender clearancing, I think, on his... Uh, I call it your 80 series, but it's a Lexus something. It's a Lexus LX450. It's an 80 series Land Cruiser. A couple days ago, Alan sent me a link to a video from Mad Matt from Australia. He was doing the same thing on a Land Cruiser down there. So we got the idea. Thanks, Matt. And uh, I guess we're going to get after it. And I never got that video, so I'm blind. You'll, You'll figure blind. it out. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to make some Land Cruiser fans some, uh, pretty angry today. That's right. what we're going to do. <laughs> so, so this is a rocker panel. The self Self-clearancing uh, yep. rock slider. I am going to cut this out while we're here. Too. Okay. I'm good with an angle grinder. I'll cut. And All cut, right. Cut, and cut, and cut. What That's material are we using? I'll show you. Oh yeah. Well, pull it in and we'll get after it. What year is it? It's '97. It's it's the year. Just I just wanted a platform that I could take my family wheeling and have AC and be comfortable. These things are awesome. You know. There's a lot of people out there that don't think I don't know a crap ton about these things. Well, I do. <laughs> we clearance that first and get it where you want it, or at least mark it. Sure. So you want to take this whole piece out, basically. Yep. Yeah, so part we'll, of that. So just right, I'm, I'm going to cut just right above that. So you want to leave the door jam. Yep. Let's hear your Mad Matt impression. Oh my gosh. Let's hear it. Good day, mate. You can, good, <laughs> you can have to say, good, good eye, mate. Good, oh, good eye, mate. Let's put another shrimp on the bob, eh? That's all I got. How much are you planning on me helping today? Because I'm going to tell you how much I'm going to be doing. Normal, normal stuff. You'll be in that chair drinking all my Mountain Dew. The normal that. amount. <laughs> Watching. Did you see my new project? Go look on the car trailer, Matt. Let's go. Some sort of a Toyota. That's gonna be my crawler. I'm gonna put my LS in it, 60 front, 14 back. For the, I'm totally looking for the cobbled up gobs of metal and. Does it look like yours? No, no, it doesn't it look like It looks pretty like pristine. <laughs> Just when you hit a rock flat, it's hard. It yeah. rattles your teeth. A little bit of angle will deflect. If you want to, uh -huh. we can tie into the frame. I okay. just want to do the body. Cause that, once you tip it over, later on you will. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll leave it to where you can if you ever want to. Right. Okay, I'll fire plies and cut her up and cut them out. Okay. Yeah, you're sure about this. We're about to point it over there. Okay, go ahead. Alright. Hey, wait, Paul. I changed my mind. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> he didn't even stop. He didn't even wait. Now we're going to try to figure out, we want this on a little bit of an angle, but that's his decision, how much angle. Alright, about to get serious. I can hear it in the background, there's people just... No! When they see the finished product, they'll yeah. understand. Yeah. Well, Michelle was supposed to be the cameraman today, <laughs> but Randy came. Randy came and so I was like, good, take over. That's roughly the angle we're going to go on right there. Let's take and unbolt that. Okay. And we'll actually pull it back up and put your bolts back in it. So Keep your inner fender. Gotcha. We're going to do it. plan was is I was just going to take about a quarter inch and then fold that in. Yeah. And then and just leave the fender itself. Yeah. It's just metal. We can move it up. Yeah. Would you leave these holes alone? Cut between them? I don't know if I would cut them right yet. Okay. I'll try. Okay. There's a wrinkle right here. Uh-huh. Maybe we can just massage I'll bet that. you can stretch a whole bunch of it up. If we can get it close, we can make it stay there. What do you think of the line? It's good. Like that? Hey, 
You think we should just make the fender play out of that? Like we were never even here. I hate that black stuff. Okay, you need to decide where you want it flush. Pretty, pretty close to that. Okay, hold that flush where you like it. 69 and a half is right at the inside right here. 69 and a half, corner to corner. Do you want a true 45 on that? Well, if we did straight here, and everything that hangs out, you okay. need the 45. We can do that. All right, I'll draw this other <laughs> one out, and we will uh, get after it. Fix it plates for Derby and they'll come in handy. I'm quickly learning the best fabricators are Derbyers. I think that's what he's after. That's a pretty smooth angle. And then I have to deal with this triangle right here. Yeah. That's gonna be fun, but there we go. That's the complex side there. Yep. I like how you did that versus how I thought I was gonna do it. And then we'll just build a triangle in it. Mm -hmm. yep. Had a marker like three seconds ago. Yeah, where could it have gone? Here it is. How did it get way over there? Oh yeah. That looks beautiful. <laughs> that is slippery. Yep. It's pretty stinking cool, man. It'll be cool when we're done. That's you won't cool. have to cringe every time you hit a rock. Uh. 212 horsepower. Do you know what I did with my cheese stick? There's one more cheese stick. I didn't eat it. I ate it. I remember eating it now. You're right. It Why'd matter. you let me cut the wrong side of that? Why did what? I'm just kidding. I didn't. But. <laughs> Clean those things off and spray them. Making it hard to weld, Ellen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we'll just grind off where we need to. Yeah. So for the fender, like how far out here? I think you can go a little more. I guess what what's gonna tie into the back side? We can bend the back side. Okay. It'll we can fold it forward. Fold it forward. Yeah. You say wherever you like this. If you put I think you put the corner right That's there. That's what I'm thinking. We just gotta make sure that these Oh we got plenty of gap. There? Yeah, no. Fenders where it should be. Best bet. Yep, and it's pretty dang close. I gotta trim that side off. Alright, I'm gonna get serious and make this one stay. No. Do you want me to start welding this and you can start cutting that other side? Okay. The hard part right here. Trying to make one exactly like the other one you just built. That looks kind of factory. Like you knew what you were doing the whole time? It looks exactly looks oh, like that. Yeah. yeah, we'll weld those little things on there. Yep. Fill your pie pieces in. Pound that back and tack weld it right there. What I'm up against here is dirty metal, painted metal, really thin, like probably a 16 gauge or 18 gauge and then 3 sixteenths. I gotta put it together and uh, make it look pretty and I'm just gonna choose one of those two things. I'm gonna put it together. <laughs> sure. So you don't have to. About time you showed up. Two hours, Shell. I know. Look at your, you got a sunburn. You must have been welding. It's looking good. Your hair is amazing. Is it? Michelle? <laughs> Do you know what we're building? You are building rock sliders. Holy cow. That really? could be the first time ever. You know why ever. I knew that? It's because I asked Matt earlier today. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you cheated. All right. <laughs> we'll just review from the last okay. one. What's this called? Oh, freak. That's a pan hard bar. Nice. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Woo! 
That's a something that you screw something into. Go to the bottom of that. There. One more guess. That's what it is. It's a bump stop. <laughs> oh, it's a bump stop. <laughs> what is this? That's a drive line, right? Yep. Look drive at that. Shaft. What is? But what is this right here? Depending on who you are. What's That's that? a knuckle. Got that much more That's a. I don't know. It's a universal joint. It's a universal joint. I've I've heard of U joint before. Mm -hmm. oh. Look What's at all this? your car parts. That's a shock absorber. Nice. Look at what that. Whoop. Are you ready? Let's see it. What is that? This is a curler. <laughs> it curls hair, but right. what is the exact name of that? A hair curler. It's a perm rod. See? Good job, guys. I knew that. Let me see. It's a bottle of hair stuff. A volumizer. Nope. It's developer for hair products. For you. What is this? This is definitely a comb. Oh, it's a broken one too, but what kind of a comb is it? Is it? I don't know. It it's like a, a pick on that it's end. It's a whisker comb. It's called a rat tail comb, you guys. You should know these things. Jeez. Okay, I'll get to you and I'll weld your bumper on real quick while you're doing that. Okay. We had to cut a piece off the front of it. We had to shorten it a bit. So this is going back on right there. How can you know no, about my cool thing that someone dropped off? Yeah, did you plate? bring that? Got it, it's here. Should we present that right now? Are you ready? But I'm pretty I'm, upset that I don't have it yet. I would like you to present that. Rob from Creative Intentions brought this by for me to bring to you guys. Look at how awesome. cool that is. Thanks, Rob. Creative Intentions in Bunkerville, Nevada. He made that one. is amazing. It's pretty, pretty sweet. sweet. It's going to look good up on the wall with all my trophies. Oh, yeah. What now we're doing? making it permanent. Is in. Yeah. One's awesome. welded almost. Hey, can I just say this looks better than just about all of the internet builds I've seen out there? Yeah, I, it turned out good. What do you think? That was in there. I'm cool down, we'll put the bolts back in. We may have to build a new tab for that one. <laughs> you are the best. Thanks, Paul. I'm just going to keep welding. <laughs> Yeah, we'll make it so we want your door to be able to open and not pop. And So Alan, the Yankum rope showed up today and we put rock sliders on this thing and They're beautiful. fixed the fenders. So now it doesn't rub anymore. You get this much more travel. They oh. saved these inner fenders. That was amazing. Yep. I would have just tore them out. Alan and Paul stuck with it. Now they'll go wheeling and test them out. Rock and roll.